Okay, so today we're going to talk about aseptic technique and how to do a culture transfer. I'm specifically going to be doing a culture transfer from an agar slant, which you can see solid media at a slant to a broth tube. So that's kind of what we're going to be doing. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is actually turn on your Bunsen burner. So first thing is this is going to control um, gas and air. So you don't want that to be too open and then you want to turn on the gas itself. You should kind of hear it a little bit. Once you hear it, then you can actually start the flame. So the goal here is to get that pretty blue flame because that's gonna be the hottest part of the flame. We also have inoculating loops. So the inoculating loops here, uh, basically they're a little round thing at the tip. So whenever you do aseptic technique, you wanna make sure that you're transferring things without contamination. So the first thing you wanna do is actually flame your loop. And you start kind of at the base and move toward the loop and you'll notice it gets kind of that hot, really hot color um, that kind of orange color and you want to do that all the way to the tip. Once you're done with that, you want to make sure that that cools because if it doesn't cool, you're going to basically destroy your bacteria. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to hold these tubes in such a way where I'm holding both tubes and what I want to do is I want to hold the caps away from me. So what I want to do is I'm going to transfer from this one here to this one here. So I just kind of bumped the tubes again, so I'm gonna flame that loop again just to make sure that it is sterile. Once you're done with that, you're gonna flame each one of the tops of the tubes. And the way you do that is you just kind of roll it along that. Same thing with the next one. You don't wanna um, hold for too long. The reason being is because it is glass and it can break. So you're gonna let that cool as well. Once it's been cooled, you're gonna insert that loop into, in this case, the agar slant. You're gonna take a sample from the agar slant and then you're gonna transfer it to the broth tube. So I kinda of wanna show you how that goes. You wanna put it into the broth tube itself and then go ahead and just wiggle it in there to get that stuff off. Once you're done with that, once again, you're gonna flame both tubes once you're done flaming, you can put the caps back on and then you're basically done with those tubes itself. You can then put the tubes down and once you're done putting down the tubes, you want to reflame that loop. So that's the process of an actual transfer between an agar slant to a broth. You can do the same thing going from a broth tube to a slant and the way that you would do that essentially is by um, taking a little bit of the broth itself and then just gently going from the base of the tube here and zigzagging your way up, making sure that you don't actually puncture the agar because if you do, you're gonna mess up your sample. And same thing, aseptic te te technique, you're gonna flame your loop initially, you're then going to um, flame the tops of the tubes, take a sample, transfer it, once again, reflame the loops, cap them, and then reflame your loop, and then you are done. So the whole purpose is that aseptic transfer. The aseptic transfer is just making sure that you're not going to go ahead and uh, transfer any unwanted bacteria. When you're done with the Bunsen burner, turn off the gas. That's always kind of a big, a big deal. Turn that off. Whenever you're using these, you'll notice my hair is not in my way. I put it up so that way I don't accidentally catch my hair on fire. I've had students almost do that before. So just kind of be aware of the Bunsen burner. When you're not using the Bunsen burner, if you're done with it, turn it off. It's just a good practice. Make sure that gas is turned off and then you are set to go.